I wanted to ask about the impact of artificial lights, particularly ones that are concentrated in the blue spectrum. Um, what impact is that having on eye health? Because it seems like um, the screens that we're using that are really uh, quite lit in, in these around the 450 nanometer um, wavelengths are quite deleterious to eye health uh, altogether. So um, what impact do you feel that they are having on the population's eye health? I think it, this is a really large issue and it's, it's one of the areas we've moved into. Um, there is one wavelength range that is absolutely critical and it's 420 nanometers, give or take 10. And that wavelength is absorbed by mitochondria. And when they absorb it, they are very unhappy, very unhappy. So they reduce their function quite significantly. Now, most of screens are around 450. Um, and I don't think screens are too much of an issue. Um, but there are a few things out there that are very telling. So 420 is turning up in very high end televisions. Um, it's turning up in uh, BMW's new laser light uh, on their cars has got an enormous peak at 420. Um, some um, floodlights have got a big 420 ish uh component now with the laser light there's been talk in the uk and um some of the press have gone for it because people are saying well when i get a burst of these lights it's not that i lose my dark adaptation something else is happening and i'm sitting thinking there yes i you know i, I we've got a good eye and the team is going to be pushing that uh shortly we've done some experiments with 420 just on 420 on the skin and the mitochondria and skin get really unhappy as well. So in life, there's a balance between red and blue light in terms of metabolic, their influence on metabolic function. Now, generally, it's kind of roughly okay. The things are in balance. But occasionally, we do things that are absolutely crazy. And, uh, you know, BMW's laser lights are, are absolutely a killer. I mean, they're phenomenal lights, incredibly powerful but I wouldn't stand in front of one. Um, and, and that technology is moving very firmly in that direction towards the 420s. Most people are unaware that mitochondria absorb very specifically at 420 and what its consequences are. And it ends up producing oxygen singlets that are really looking for something to grab onto. Um, and bad news, very bad news. And that story will develop 